Thank you. I, I do have a final question on section one, but before I start, I would like to address that comment, Honourable Chair, because it is relevant. Um, frankly, this government does not have a vision, Honourable Chair, because the vision they sold British Columbians on was one of wealth and prosperity for one of all from a vibrant LNG industry that's pot of gold at, an end of a ra at the end of the rainbow that they are continually chasing. The reality is, Honourable Speaker, this was misled British Columbians because it was never in the cards, because the economic reality was LNG was not coming to British Columbia soon or any time soon, Honourable Speaker. So in a desperate attempt, Honourable Speaker, to, 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 to divert British Columbia's attention away from their disastrous policies, yes, disastrous policies on LNG, they bring us red tape production day, Honourable Chair. And Honourable Chair, in doing so, they're trying to repurpose their campaign for 2017 to try to rebrand themselves as the party of small business. But Honourable Chair, they are not the party of small business because a party of small business would not throw small business under the bus in, in a desperate attempt to try to bring LNG here, send a signal to the clean tech sector that you're not welcome in BC, desperately trying to bring them back. Honourable Chair, this is a cynical bill. It is a bill that will do nothing for the betterment of British Columbia, and my question to the Minister is this. It's a question that is also in the minds, mind of the member from Delta South. How much money is the government going to waste of the BC taxpayers to promote this, to promote this bill, to create staff to administer it, to actually promote this day across schools? How much money and how much red tape is being introduced in BC through the passage of this bill?